is your system compatible to switch from 32-bit Windows 10 to 64-bit Windows 10? If you have Windows 7 or 8 and haven't upgraded to Windows 10 yet, then this is the link which provides you free upgrade to Windows 10. Now before switching to 64-bit, you should have to check whether is your PC 64-bit compatible or not. So to check that, right click to start and select system. Look at this system type. Here I already have 64-bit operating system, but if you see 32-bit operating system, x64 based processor, this means you are using a 32-bit version of Windows 10, but your CPU can run 64-bit version. If it doesn't say you have 64 base processor, that means you have a 32-bit CPU and can't upgrade to 64-bit system. You also should have at least 4 GB RAM or more, so all features of your PC will run smoothly in 64-bit after upgrade. One more thing is if you go to UEFI firmware settings, then you can enable virtualization before switching to 64-bit if it is not yet enabled. Just check out my other video to find out how to get into the UEFI firmware settings if you don't know. Keep this in your mind that some of the first 64-bit CPUs don't have the required features to run 64-bit version of Windows even if they are 64-bit compatible. So the 64-bit version of Windows 10 will refuse to install if your CPU doesn't support. These are the points you should have to consider before you think to upgrade 32-bit to 64-bit in Windows 10. So I hope I discuss about important things you should consider and check out before upgrading to 64-bit in your Windows 10. There are plenty of videos on YouTube which shows how to switch from 32 to 64-bit. Make sure to subscribe this channel to get more free technology videos in future and please like this video to help other YouTubers to decide right video to watch on YouTube. Don't forget to comment me on comment box below. If you have any question or query, I will be happy to answer as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.